What's the best way to deal with a celebrity who needs help? Charlie Sheen's parents are so worried about the actor, they reportedly want legal control over him. Meanwhile, Elton John publicly tells Billy Joel to get serious about rehab. So will this tough love thing work, or is it futile? Here now are Ken Seeley, founder of Intervention911.com, Danny Bonaducci, actor and radio talk show host on 94.1 WYSP in Philadelphia, and Vicki Ziegler, family law attorney. Welcome to the show, you guys. Okay, Vicki, let me start with you. You're a lawyer. Uh, can can Ma Ma uh, Charlie Sheen's parents actually get legal control over him? The guy is 45 years old. It's right. not like he's Britney, who is very young. It, yes, they can, saying? and they can make an application to a court. A judge has to determine and make the uh, determination that actually he is incapacitated, which means he cannot make any decisions for himself or his estate. So it's going to be a little difficult to yeah. actually get that done at, a, at age 45. When we hear he can go to work, Charlie Sheen can read his lines, he's making all this money, right. and then he kind of relapses or falls off. So it's going to be a very I mean, difficult he does proposition. Hold down the job. Ken, for his parents to get control, they'd have to prove that Charlie is incapacitated. Can they do that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just watching the media, everybody's watching it happen right in front of our eyes that he is out of control and he needs that help. And if he was in right in his right mind, he would welcome that help from his parents and ask them for that help until he could get back into recovery. So I think it's a win win all around. Well, it's possible. I mean, look at this picture from TMZ of Shane partying last week, Danny. Look at that. Do you think she needs to be under somebody else's guardianship here? Hello? Well, here's here's the point. The fact is, is a judge going to think so? And no, a judge is not going to think so. A judge is going to see a perfectly lucid Charlie scene in court like we see every weeknight on his hugely successful TV show mm. where he shows up on time and does his job. They're never going to say, hey, 45-year-old middle-aged dude who's kind of chubby, by the way, and most crackheads I know are really thin, they're not going to say, take this cat's money. Well, they can also... <laughs> <laughs> Joy, they can do it on a limited basis also. They can say, listen, yeah. you have children, you have five children, you're paying child support yeah. for at least four. We have to preserve your financial estate and make sure that the child support's getting paid and that's mm -hmm. taken uh, into consideration. So The court, you mean? The court uh -huh. can do it on a limited basis. And obviously, there's a train wreck here that could have a very bad ending. So I think his parents, you know what, should try to do it. And, and you'll have to see what a judge determines. Right. It has worked for Britney Spears. Yeah, it is. Apparently, Apparently she's, she's under younger. control now. Yep. She needed those reins. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, the other thing, Ken, is Charlie could be going back to work in a few weeks and he's doing in-home rehab which is kind of strange can that really work oh, yeah we've worked with people that do in-home rehab absolutely that could work but he has to hit a rock bottom as so many people are saying he has to want it and what that means is he has to hit the rock bottom and surrender and I don't think that's happened yet I think he's still in control by wanting to do rehab at home but it can work as long as he does it for long term well, he needs know, at least six to nine months or a year it, yeah months. It, before I want to ask you a question do you think it's much harder for a celebrity to hit rock bottom than the average person mm -hmm. I mean my view co-host Whoopi Goldberg today very interesting she opened up this morning about her past drug addiction we hadn't really heard this yet she's talking about hitting rock bottom let's watch that I was a functioning drug addict I went to work because I knew if I didn't show up a lot of people would be out of work and I wouldn't get a check and would not have the lifestyle that I needed to buy my drugs I wet the bed Mm -hmm. I did. I pooped the bed. I did all kinds of stuff. And my roommate came back and said, what is going on? I said, there's something under the bed. Mm -hmm. I was so scared. And that's when I knew. But, you know, you have to get you to that place. You not only did you did I hit bottom, but it was like, is is that me? Yeah. D uh, Danny, what do you say about that? Well, yeah. uh, I've spoken to Whoopi about this, actually, and we uh, uh, she hit her rock bottom, which was a, a rather degrading moment for her, and she was a very brave person to say that on your show. Yes, she but was. The, the yeah. She was. But the fact of the matter is, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not being aloof, I'm being dead serious. If your rock bottom is a huge mansion with 15 porn stars in it, where do I sign up for Charlie Sheen's rock bottom? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you make a very good point, Danny. Thank you. I, can, I do that all the time, Joy. I know. Ken, Ken can you respond to that last remark, yeah. Ken, being an interventionist? Uh, what do you think Charlie's rock bottom will be? 
as long as a person is alive and breathing, you could create their rock bottom. And that's what it's all about. It's getting the family as they're doing, creating that rock bottom, getting his employers involved, the people around him, his lawyers, his, his agents, everybody that loves and cares about him, getting them involved and working as a unified front and creating that rock bottom. That's what needs to happen. And I think that's what the family's doing right now. Is that but realistic? what if they're wrong? Right, what if they're wrong? Has anybody checked this? A doctor, a, a friend of mine, Paul Nassif, gave him a ride home from the hospital. Am I the only guy here that knows crackheads and what they look like and how they act? You get in a small, I'm guessing, sports car with a trained professional MD, and you don't start ripping at your clothes and get these bugs off of me. You're probably not a crackhead with millions of dollars. You're probably a drunk who likes hot chicks. And the problem really is, I think, that Charlie has to no. want to end this game. He has been doing this, and he's been ingesting, apparently, alcohol and drugs for many, many years, yeah. maybe 20 plus. They're, his rock bottom, I don't think we've seen it. And I think until he says, listen, you know what, although I'm a functioning alcoholic or drug addict, <coughs> I need to make sure that I'm here in the future for my children because he doesn't want to do it for himself. If you yep. saw that picture at TMZ, I mean, it's frightening. I think it said it's before his bender started. So, Joy, I mean, that's scary right. stuff. Right, okay. Let me ask you about another yeah. situation that's going on with famous mm -hmm. people and rehab and everything else. Singer Elton John is using tough love with his longtime touring buddy, Billy Joel. Elton John told Rolling Stone the following, quote, he's going to hate me for this, but every time he goes to rehab, they've been light. When I went to rehab, Elton sang, I had to clean the floors. He goes to rehab where they have TVs, et cetera, I guess. I love you, Billy, and this is, and this is tough love. Billy, you have your demons, and you're not going to get rid of them at rehab light. You've got to be serious. Now, Elton John, uh, Danny, Elton John has been sober for 20 years himself, so he has a little mm -hmm. credibility here, right? He does, yeah. but I, I question the idea of making tough love in the newspaper. Have you seen Billy Joel? His nose is smashed into his face from about 10 years in a boxing ring. Tough love with Billy Joel it comes long distance. I wouldn't tell Billy Joel to do anything Billy Joel didn't want to do right now. I don't know anything. I know that every time he has hit an inanimate object, like his neighbor's home, he has passed the sobriety <laughs> test. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure what all the evidence is that Elton John is saying. The well, guy's Elton, been sober when he hits houses. He's just a terrible Elton driver. Elton knows him. <laughs> Elton yeah. knows Billy Joel very well because they work together all the time. And Elton says he keeps missing shows, I guess, and that's why he wants. But meanwhile, Billy Joel, this is what Billy Joel responded. I've worked with Elton for such a long time, and I've enjoyed our relationship too much to let something as random as these comments change my affection for him. Elton is just being Elton Ken. He's calling the comments yeah. random. Do you think do you think Billy Joel is listening or what do you make of that response? Yeah, see, that, that's another reason why I would think, without even knowing the case, I would think that he is an addict because it's deflecting. It's taking away from what's really happening. And, you know, why is Elton even saying anything? The only reason why Elton would be even saying anything is because he loves and cares about him. He's not out there to slander him. He's out there because he loves him and he wants to see him in recovery and wants to see him healthy. So I think he's doing the right thing. I think it's great that he's speaking out and showing how much he cares. Okay. Okay, uh, you know what, Danny, since you seem to know a lot about this topic, what do you suggest that they do with Charlie Sheen at this point? Well, at this point, I really want to see what the evidence is. He is not showing. There's something wrong. There's something seriously going wrong with Charlie Sheen. But everybody's got such great... My wife, who's a school teacher, said, I just heard they delivered a uh, briefcase of cocaine to Charlie Sheen's house. I said, no, they didn't, honey. You, they haven't delivered suitcases full of cocaine since Pablo Escobar. This is... Everybody's going so far out on a limb. I'd really like to know what Charlie Sheen's obviously up to. He likes his porn stars. He likes his booze. But you would not get past it. Cedar side eye. You would not get through, past the reception desk and the nurse that takes your blood pressure to you were taken to ICU if you were having a cocaine overdose because your blood you'd be grabbing your chest and whisked against your will and you'd get a 5150 and that's be it you wouldn't be going anywhere for three days I'm telling okay. you it was not cocaine all righty and you got the last word on that so I hope oh, that Charlie's cool. listening thanks everybody we'll be back in a minute